It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Yet again, there's a change coming to the game that is causing a lot of people to be upset, a lot of people to lose their minds and get real, real, real mad about it. Uh, and that is the that is the talisman the talisman system coming to Hero Wars Mobile. I do want to talk a little bit about the uh, the conversation that we had. Uh, this morning and it's continuing to have there's a lot of influencers having this conversation a lot of people threatening to quit uh, as per usual anytime there's any change in any part of this game people get upset and i want you guys need to potentially leave some comments you're gonna have to leave some comments on uh, on that video if you feel some kind of way either way if you like it or not the talisman system here is the the document that we have showing off kind of what it looks like uh, the talisman system is a simple system that they're going to implement that's going to allow uh, the random rolls for some bonus stats. So we have an example here of Galahad. And I want to say that this Galahad picture is a work in progress because Galahad is not Galahad is not one of the um, uh, one of the strange hero choices, although Galahad is one of the choices. You can see at the top here, we are planning to add talismans to some heroes, currently six, one from each faction. And uh, Galahad here as an example. Galahad is getting the main stat of strength. And note that uh, this is the only one that follows the hero's main stat. And what do I mean by, by uh, my main stat? To look at, oh, I don't have, I don't have Hero Wars Mobile open. So Hero Wars and Hero Wars, uh, Hero, uh, Hero Wars and Hero Wars Mobile have heroes and each hero has a main stat the main stat is whoops is uh what all of the other stats are based around uh for example kark's main stat is agility galahad's main stat is strength here we go and each stat means something so strength gives 40 health and one extra point of physical attack if strength is your main stat okay uh, agility gives one point of armor, two points of physical attack, and one more physical attack if agility is your main stat. Okay. Intelligence gives three magic attack, one magic defense, and one point of physical attack if intelligence is your main stat. So every hero has a main stat. All right. Galahad, this talisman, the amulet of the giant, this talisman, the first stat line is locked as strength okay and for comparison's sake the other three heroes that we know that is getting the talisman system so far is aurora is getting an intelligence talisman not a strength talisman aurora is a strength hero but she's getting an intelligence item right astroth is getting agility and uh um uh faceless is getting strength faceless is getting a strength talisman high probability they say all right, and then of course Galahad here is getting the strength one as well. So what does this effectively break down? And we've, we've gone over this in, in uh, past discussions already, but real quick, these four stats need to be unlocked by upgrading them via this currency right here. How you get the currency is still unknown, but uh, you level it up to talisman level 60. It's yet another thing to level up like a skin or an artifact. It unlocks slots, all right? Slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four, or actually you get the first one automatically and then it's one, two, and three. And then the additional slots, they come with random stats. So you unlock slot one, it gives Galahad magic attack. You unlock slot two, it gives Galahad health. And slot three is uh, not there yet, but you can re-roll these. You can re-roll these into other random stats. It the, the first stat is locked at strength. So Aurora's first stat is locked at Intelligence. The next one is locked at uh, uh, Faceless is getting Strength, I guess, to get more health. And uh, you re-roll the other three stats. So the idea behind this is it's going to add some randomness. It's going to change up uh, to high-end hero fighting because there's a little bit of an unknown associated with it. You'll be able to specialize heroes by continually re-rolling a hero until you get to a certain point. For example, a Ziri with three armor stats will have ridiculously high armor very strong against physical attacking teams and uh you know weak or as weak to everybody else's as she already is um, you could specialize a kark by tacking on you know a ton of armor penetration so on and so forth but you have to re-roll the stats with this currency the same currency presumably that you used to level it up so you'll never have uh, you'll never run out of a need for a currency they could have added two currencies here one to level up the thing and the other to re-roll the thing 
uh, which I'm surprised that they didn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that in the future. But this is causing people to lose their minds as any small or big change to Hero Wars Mobile and Hero Wars Facebook and Web does. A lot of people are cussing the developers and there's a lot of people who are for it because uh, Royals League fighting is boring. Everybody is 4,200 4, draws. Uh, everybody's using the bot to cheat. There are some players that are against it because they feel like all of their spend is invalidated. And so everybody is, is quitting. I don't care. I could care less. This this is just one more thing in the long string of things. People wanted to quit when hero artifacts were added. People were, wanted to quit when the first round of skins were added. People wanted to quit when titans were added. People always are going to quit this game. But uh, good news is 100,000 players uh, join the game each month or each day, I should say. And, uh, you know, if, if 1% of 1% of 1% of those players end up being a whale, then uh, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. Okay. So, uh, there's some concern about this. The main stat being locked raises the question, why bother with the main stat? Why bother giving that first stat as a main stat? Why bother doing it anyway? Um, it forces you into it. It's like an extra skin, kind of. And, you know, some heroes may not want it. The example that was used was Aurora being forced to have the strength stat, but Aurora is getting the... Uh, I'm sorry, Aurora forced to get the agility stat because you don't want more armor on your Aurora. But Aurora in this instance is getting the intelligence stat as her locked stat. Um, the argument continues that it's just going to make it so that, you know, people will... Uh, there's not enough stats for it to matter, that it's too random, that even the best strategy teams... I think it all boils down to people being mad that they spent money and spending money doesn't guarantee a win. I think that's what all of it boils down to. All the negativity, all the people that are really threatening to quit, I think it really boils down to people throwing a fit because they spent money and now they don't auto win. Or auto draw, I guess. Mobile only FS list, yeah, mobile only. The Ascension system on Facebook and web is a sort of parody to this, but there's no randomness in the Ascension system, right? Aside from the resources that you need to get to level it up. Uh, all of the all of the heroes have the same, I should say all of the Auroras and all of the Sebastians and all of the Facelesses, everybody has the same Ascension tree as the other, you know, same hero. Please we'll wait until the best values are defined by the community and then build their talismans, yep. Well anyway, today all games are money grab before 25 years you could buy one game for PC or console and spend 50, yep. Yep, that's true, Mr. No. Uh, uh, the argument was brought up by Tim from uh, the Hero Wars Mobile Community to go that this is very much like Pokemon. Pokemon has got a, uh, a large amount of heroes to level up. A large amount of heroes to level up. And these heroes uh, all have four moves. Forgive me, Pokemon players. I haven't played any competitive Pokemon since, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't even tell you the last time I played the game the pokemon game competitive there's evs and ivs ivs are like a set stat and evs are a, a randomized stat you can grow or or maybe i got those backwards i don't know you don't know what skills you're you, like there's there's meta teams in pokemon right that you see all the time you you come into a pokemon battle with four pokemon five I don't even know how many. You know, you go into a fight, just because you see, you know, the same meta team that you always see, doesn't mean that they're gonna be statted the same or they're gonna have the same, you know, the, the meta skills or whatever. Yeah, when and how does the talisman become locked? Uh, locked. What do you mean, Griff, what do you mean locked? Like the like the, the, the lock symbol on the first one there? The lock is is showing that the that first line never changes. Gotta see how it works and I'll decide how I feel about it. You know, gathering your sources, how much you need to how difficult. And that's a big thing that I think we're missing is how 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 much is it gonna cost to re-roll these stats? How quickly can we accrue this currency? Is there gonna be a pay to win side of it? I, I, like I don't I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. So everybody's uh everybody's in their head about you know, this thing. Uh, there's a vocal minority, as is always, threatening to quit talking about how this is going to be the thing that makes them quit Hero Wars when it's just another in the line. You know, we have, we have, we have, I'm going to quit Hero, we're going to have, we have this about once a year, twice a year or so. Are the upgrades able to be modified or are you stuck with the choices you make? Robert, you can continually re-roll over and over and over again, but it, it will re-roll three slots at once. It will re-roll three slots at once. <laughs> So basically, Mobile Talisman is somehow similar to Facebook Web Citizen apart from modified skills. Calumet, but it's random. It's random. One stat is locked, in this case for Galahad, it's strength, and the other three are, are randomized. 
there there is one or two Royals Guild players in the influencer chat. So their their voice is being heard there. Kit Kat, who runs the Hero Wars Mobile unofficial Discord, um, is in the chat discussing, you know, showing screenshots. Uh, Tim from the Hero Wars Mobile community, the GOAT page, showing screens, uh, screenshots from feedback from his community. Of course, I posted a video about this last week. So, you know, my there, there's plenty of comments on that video already, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely have more on this one. But uh, the discussion continues. So we have Aurora, Astaroth, Faceless, and Galahad. Those are four of the six factions. The Way of Mystery and the Way of Progress uh, factions are not being represented here. And uh, the Way of Mystery and the Way of Progress candidates. Way of Mystery is Maya, Martha, and Celeste. Maya, Martha, and Celeste. We're going to have to vote for that. Maya, Martha, or Celeste. And the Way of Progress, the candidates are Sebastian and Nebula. Okay, so those three and two heroes are who they're considering for the other two factions that they're going to uh, have the first talisman for. Ultimately, all heroes will have a talisman. They're slow rolling it, kind of like they slow roll the heroic chest unlock. What's that's what I even want for my Max Astaroth. Greth, I think I think giving him the agility talisman guarantees that he's going to have a good chunk more armor. Is that going to be enough to matter? I don't know. You know, magic attack or health, more armor, more magic defense. Do you give him magic penetration? You know, what do you what do you do? What do you even do? I don't even know. Lectures has bent lately when people complain, so maybe that's what people are banking on. I don't see them not doing this. So they went ahead with it. Uh, they announced today that they are moving forward with it. And despite all of the negative feedback, it's overwhelmingly positive feedback, which I find hilarious because, again, the vocal minority makes people think, that this is a bad thing. It's all doom and gloom. And honestly, uh, Hero Wars doesn't care if, if every single whale quits because they already have the money. And if if 1% of 1% of 1% of players every day becomes a whale, then the numbers of every whale quitting would be recouped in like a week. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, don't think, I don't think it really matters. I think something like this is inevitable across the board. I think everything, everything will... Ha We'll have things added to it. They're they're always going to add things to strengthen heroes to continue to grow because you you can't you can't have an end game. You can't finish the game. Otherwise, people would stop spending. If the heroes getting the talismans aren't in my top fifteen or used for Hydra, I don't care. Well, Mister NCSU, they will all be there eventually, though. Yeah, seems interesting. More customization could be cool. MH, I I'm on that side as well. I think that I think that having a hero that I could specialize. Like, for example, if I could give Kira vampirism, like if I could give Kira a bunch of vampirism, how cool would that be? Imagine that. Imagine giving Kira like 40% vampirism. Or what else would be interesting? Giving giving Kark a bunch of dodge. I don't know. I don't know. How fast will they roll them out? That is a good question. I don't know yet. It might add more stress to Royal League players. They're turning their ass off and now something random can show up. Zol, I will tell you this. Daily. Daily, I'm getting private messages with screenshots of yet another draw. Uh, yet another 4,200 to 4,200 draw. Guess what, Charlie? Another 4,200 to 4,200 draw. This is the third time we fought this guild. They're cheating. We're cheating. We know how to beat them. They know how to beat us. Yet another 4,200, 4,200 draw. How will that change it for Kira getting one shot? Well, Trip Splash, this is mobile. Kira doesn't really get one shot by Dante on mobile. Charlie, I'm disappointed in you. You're just repeating the stuff the devs say. I'm just repeating the stuff. Yeah, I'm showing, I'm telling you what's happening. My my job isn't to be a, a, a champion of the of the people, Crimson Storm. My job is to get views and try to keep people on YouTube as long as possible. That's my job. <laughs> Pair Kira Dorian. Oh yeah, yeah, Francis, I know, but I don't wanna I don't wanna have to push Kira that far back. It was just, it was one of the hypotheticals that was brought up. Defense is a joke in this game. This is needed to combat the offensive advantage and avoid players not not as knowledgeable, just winning with bots. So, Robert, I think I think the big thing that, that a lot of people are concerned about, again, is their investment is going to be completely invalidated. You know, they invested in a set of 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 heroes that they knew that using those, you know, stable of heroes, they could, they could beat consistently the trending meta of whatever server, be it a newer server, an older server, or whatever. And now, much like on Hero Wars Facebook and Web, why people like Dante so much, the reason why Dante's even a thing is because of his randomness, right? The ability to introduce RNG and get a potential win when you should have absolutely lost. 
And, you know, if and when they fix Dante's invincibility frames on, on Facebook and web, then all that's going to disappear anyway, right? This will change nothing. Hard counters are still hard counters. Yeah, and that is another point of the argument, Griff, is, is you know, looking at this screenshot, and again, this screenshot right here is a work in progress. You know, how much is 71,000 health going to matter for a tank? You know, how much is 4,300 magic attack going to matter? Or, you know, um, here's the list of stuff. How much is... Uh, you know, 1,125 armor penetration going to matter. Like, some, I guess? He is making a defense in globals is very rare at high levels. Yep. I get more people complaining about 4,200 draw in Royals than just about anything, any other complaint. No, I don't even get the complaints about the bots anymore. Faceless being able to get high PA opens a whole new world of potential physical teams. Yeah, I fix it. I think that'd be interesting. A lot of people think strength gives physical attack, but it doesn't. It gives health. Right, so faceless getting a, a pile of strength for his his main stat for these talismans, you know, twenty nine hundred. What is that? Twenty nine hundred. So twenty nine hundred, twenty nine hundred times forty. I mean, that's one hundred and sixteen. We do that math again. That's one hundred and sixteen thousand health that he gets. I mean, that's not nothing. That's not nothing. But all of the all of the fun heroes that you could copy with faceless though you know you wouldn't traditionally want to use them with a physical attacking team but magic penetration artifact doesn't really work with physical attacking teams but you know definitely stop dante I really hate how servers are now dante that's oh, easy 116 yeah 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 2900 2900 strength you can see on the on the screen right there every point of strength gives uh, 40 health so like i said if you guys want to uh if you want to vote in the comment section down below uh, between Maya, Martha, or Celeste for the Way of Mystery, and then for the Way of Progress, Sebastian or Nebula, uh, then I would greatly, I would greatly appreciate it.